does it matter that uh, you were the spiciest one at the table? Maybe they don't know what to expect of you. Like, you definitely have the spiciest outfits. Uh, I, even though I may have been dressed as Triton, uh, I still think you took the cake for having the spiciest outfit. I think you had a hat and, like, some, you know, some color going on, multiple different colors. Yeah. Uh, I thought maybe it was an African outfit, I believe. Uh, and I believe there was a talk of a spice off. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. So my, my outfit choices were very intentional for Triton uh, because I, I'm someone who enjoys, and, and you can appreciate this. I know I love, I love a good outfit and I love um, kind of creating um, just, you get to, you get to just create so many like, and, and, and evoke so many emotions through clothing and, and outfits and, and choices. And you get to tell a story. And it's something I've always been a fan of. Uh, so when I found out I was playing Triton, I was like, oh, I am, I am coming correct. And a lot of my outfit choices were very, very, very intentional. Uh, I wore a lot of my, my head wraps and from my my dresses and my outfits were from black owned businesses and and women black owned businesses and it was very purposeful because i felt like i had never seen anyone who looked like me playing poker at that level Re and and on top of that i had never seen anyone who looked like me playing poker on that level really own who they are um, and, and make a statement with who they are, with how they look. And so I looked at it as an opportunity and I was not going to shy away from it whatsoever. And yeah, uh, I think it was when you and I were, it was day three of the 200 K and that was the first time we had gotten sat next to each other. And, uh, yeah, you've been known to do some, some crazy things with your outfits. And so... Uh -huh. We, we, we need to have, you know, like a spice off. I like this. I like this phrase, a spice off. Maybe, maybe we do this during the world series. You know, we try to do like a, a spice off as far as outfits go. <laughs> sure. Sure. I've got a number of ideas. We can uh, coordinate this. Yes. Um, and, you know, related to the whole idea of uh, what you wear as a story. I mean, I think this is a good topic for a few different reasons. Firstly, I think it's important to remember that as while you're like intimidated a little bit by the people that that you've watched on TV that crushed and made, you know, however many millions, blah, 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 they don't know what the f*** is going on with you. Like, they don't know what you'll do. They don't know how you'll play. There's no like, you know, as you said, what you, what you wear communicates something about yourself and can even tell a story mm -hmm. or at least with a certain kind of artistic finesse you can or creative finesse i guess you could say uh you can tell a story with it yeah um i will say um just going back to what you said about how showing up a trait and how none of them like knew what to expect they didn't know anything about me i knew that going in that was one thing i was certain of i was like okay i don't have anything to lose because no one's expecting anything of me uh one and two they can go and like you said, go and like look and see how each of them plays and they don't have, they don't have any footage of me. They can't like go back and be like, Oh, she makes this kind of decision in this kind of spot. And I was like, all right, I get to just, I get to just be. And away from just in life, I've gained a lot of confidence and who I am as a person. And so I bring, I try to bring that type of energy into everything that I do uh, so I knew that that's what I was going to do with Triton as far as my outfit choices because I wanted to inspire confidence within myself while I was playing in such a nerve-wracking environment. And I knew one of the things, one of the ways that I could do that was with my outfit choices. It's like, look good, feel good type of thing, you know? And I, I was just like, well, I know one thing's for sure. I'm I'm going to look good regardless if I play good. <laughs> If I, I if I run good and I just happen to run very well and play terrible in some spots and then play well in others, uh, and it, I got to uh, wear a lot of my amazing outfits for Triton, which was fantastic. Uh, but yeah, there is. I noticed very early on um, in poker that the how I showed up physically with the choices that I made 
really impacted the way people would perceive me. Like if I would show up in sweatpants and a snapback and, and just be like super casual, then the way that people would react to me or respond to me was vastly different than when I dressed up to the nines and wore a lot of jewelry. And then, and then people, people would think I'm just like, Oh, she's like some, she's gotta be some millionaire's girlfriend, you know? And it was just like the way that they treated me, the way that they played against me, the way that they played back at me, every, everything was different. And I started to realize how much power was in that and that I get to decide how people initially perceive me. And I just wanted to take all elements of my power in that. And I still do. And I think it's fantastic. And I get to, I get to play and create. And also I think you got to give yourself a little more credit. I think you're doing an amazing job with, uh, creating these these characters and these um you know these outfits on the poker table because that's one thing you're for sure known for and you stay in character which is kudos to you hats off to you for that <laughs> well thank you thank you uh well good job realizing that by the way i think i don't know how many how much people do realize that they're doing that i think a lot of people just kind of be who they are and don't really like look too much into how they're dressing but i'm not sure if i'm right about that but yeah i mean that's a totally fair way way to uh to you know manipulate uh, in poker and that and dimension of it that people haven't really thought about <laughs> <laughs>